Hey, what's up you guys? Tom is back with another Lintons video. Today we're going to be discussing 10 fragrances that were gifted to me over the last year. But before we do that, just want to say thank you guys. Again, it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices. Whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV. Whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're out there right now trying to get those last minute gifts. Struggling to find parking. However, wherever you watch me, it is an honor. You guys are new to this channel. You like what you see hit the subscribe button comment and like likes are very very important now before i even get into this video i'm gonna list some stores right here that i frequently use to buy fragrances and also some discount codes that you guys can use now again christmas is just about over and the new year is upon us so honestly if you guys are gonna buy some fragrances today tomorrow the next day probably expect to see them within the next week or maybe week and a half again it's gonna be pretty busy with uh you know deliveries and everything like that so be prepared to maybe see a few fragrances stuck in some locations so with that being said i probably would suggest just waiting until the new year starts okay we already got enough fragrances over the years so let's just wait but again i do have 10 fragrances that were gifted to me over this last year uh whether they were gifted to me by a fellow frag head maybe a brand itself maybe one of my favorite ebay sellers however and wherever it, it came from someone okay it didn't come out of my pocket now again i did buy plenty of fragrances myself so i don't want you guys to think this whole thing is just gifted to me no it's not i wish that would be the case but it is not however again we do have 10 with one honorable mention and the honorable mention comes from fragrance world and because i got a few of them from fragrance world okay now some were gifted by the brand itself and then some are gifted by my favorite ebay sellers and i'm gonna put one of these on here because there's like two others i think three that are also from fragrance where they're just that good and they were gifted to me that i had to put them in here but i didn't want to make it all fragrance world because i probably could <sighs> but you know if i had to pick the honorable mention now I'm picking this because I have another gourmand fragrance that I like a little bit more than this one. But this one is that cacao, okay? Chocolatey kind of, there's a slight freshness to it as well in the beginning, opening um, musky, chocolatey, powdery. It's just a very good fragrance. Some of you guys have already commented how much you like this cacao, okay? So that is the honorable mention. With that being an honorable mention, I can put it back in its original place. And therefore, I got a little bit more room on the display case that I have all the other fragrances. So that was honorable mention. Let's get into the first one. And the first one, we'll go with this one. Because, you know, honestly, I've only done one video from this uh, brand. Um, however, this fragrance was actually pretty darn good. Okay, the review, I did a little quick little uh, unboxing, first impressions. And actually wore it two days later. And I was actually quite impressed by this one. This one is from the House of Sniff. This one is Burning Bridges, okay? Powdery, smoky, tobacco. Pretty good fragrance. And man, this magnetic cap is so good, you guys. This is one of the best magnetic caps you're going to get. Nice little fidgety toy to play with while you are taking this along on the trip. But Burning Bridges from Sniff. Again, Burning Woods Vanilla Sweet Seductive. There you go. Again, one gift that was gifted to me, okay? Next up. <sighs> got this one from one of my favorite ebay sellers i did buy like six others in this lineup but this one was probably my favorite in the whole category and it is a citrusy fragrance and again luckily it was gifted to me luckily there was an alternative because you guys already know the real deal of this fragrance is super duper expensive and that is from this Privé couture collection that is that afternoon swim this is just pretty much citrusy airy green it's just nice and open and fresh and just a good uplifting fragrance you guys already know this is a clone of louis vuitton's afternoon swim and you guys know that thing is super duper expensive so you guys can get a few of these little guys right here okay you get almost like the whole lineup they have like 20 of these little small guys okay everything anything that you can think of for about 20 dollars a piece and these are 30 ml so you you do the math okay so that is afternoon swim Again, that's from that Private Couture collection. Now, next up, I do have a few other fragrances from this brand, okay? But this one was actually gifted to me from a, one of my favorite eBay sellers, 
PanadierFragrances.com. Go check out that website. Again, I did leave the store over there. Such a cool guy. And he gifted me this one. And it looks like it's been used. Like it was a like a tester in his store. But once I got a hold of it, I was impressed. I actually wore it twice. And the first time I wore it was actually taking the garbage out. And man, the scent trail that this thing left was so good. This is Ahmed Sapphire, okay? I think... If I'm mistaken, it could be either like a Mont Blanc Legend clone or, you know what, maybe this could be like a Calvin Klein, something Calvin Klein, but it smells so good, guys. It's green, it's, it's fresh and spicy, it's outdoorsy, it's woody. Good fragrance. Check this sapphire out again from Ahmed. I do have a few more Ahmeds that I'll eventually get to uh, sometime beginning that next year, so we will put that back. Again, Ahmed Sapphire, very good fragrance and very strong and potent. Next up, this one was gifted to me from a fellow fray head. We've done plenty of swaps over this year. And a few times we will gift each other one extra fragrance just, you know, out of being nice. So this one goes out to Mr. Michael LaRussa, if you're watching this one is Gifanchi, gentlemen. This is the original, I believe. And I think it is the original because it has that old man smell powerful, that spicy kind of like uh, cloves and just out. It's woody, masculine, rose maybe in here. But I haven't given this one a full wear just yet because I still like my Gifanchi, gentlemen. But I will definitely rock this one. And this one smells good. I like that clovey, spicy powerhouse that you get with this Givenchy gentleman original I believe it is yeah I think it is yep so there you go Givenchy gentleman again gifted from a fellow frag head so we can put that one back into its original spot next up uh, you know what the next few are going to be literally from my favorite eBay seller out there again in California Panadair Fragrances is like number two. Oud Store is number one, and he gifted me this. Again, I did purchase like about $200 worth of fragrances from first, okay? And then he decided to give me a couple extras, and this was one of them, and that is from Rasasi. It's essential. This stuff is good, you guys. To me, this smells almost like a original Burberry with a little bit of tobacco, a little bit more earthiness, but... Man, this is strong as well. Now, when I say strong, I mean it, it can kind of penetrate uh, whatever you're wearing. So if you're wearing a sweater, again, the, after I did the review on this, it was because I smelled the fragrance through a sweater, the sleeve of the sweater. And that's why I was like, man, I got to recommend this one to you guys because it smells so good. Rasasi, it's essential. This one is like less than 35 bucks. So go check out the store, oodstore.com. Use those discount codes. But that is Rasasi. It's essential. Very good fragrance. Okay. Next up. <sighs> fragrance world, fragrance world, fragrance world. Two of my favorite in general as far as all of 2023. But these next two, uh, this one, I'll kind of space it out because I'll probably put the last fragrance world for last because it pretty much has become one of my favorite fragrances in my whole collection. But we'll start with this one. This one is Vanilla So Sweet. You guys know this is a clone of uh, the Vanilla Fragrance from Guerlain, the expensive lineup. This thing is so good. And I usually, usually do not like many Vanilla Fragrances, but this one is very, very good. It kind of reminds me of a more vanilla-based spice bomb, if you will, like super spice bomby, that powdery, tobacco-y earthy smell but a little bit touch more of vanilla and that's what you get okay it's not like you know spice bomb extreme where it's more smoky woody and vanilla it's more sweet and then that vanilla which adds that nice little kick that smoothness in the end but this is that amber so sweet from fragrance world and we can put that back in the collection because we have literally the whole collection in the back Next up, I don't even know what number we're on, but I just see four more sitting over here, so we'll just go based off of that. Next up, <sighs> from Hasten Alhambra. Now, again, this one was also from Bandier Fragrances. Again, 
very nice people over there in California. This one he gave to me and I actually wore this maybe about a week ago. This is from Mason Alhambra. This is Dark Door Sport. Dark Door, what the heck are they naming these fragrances for anyways? But this is just your fresh going to work. And that office scent, this is a clone of your own sport. And it is good. It's green. It's earthy. It's definitely a masculine fragrance. No unisex about this one at all. Citrusy, green. What more can you ask for? Again, this is Mason Alhambra Dark Door Sport. They also have Dark Door Intense, which is a Dior Ohm Intense uh, clone. So that is that Dark Door, okay? Next up, man, I was shocked when I got this fragrance because I wasn't too familiar with all of their fragrances. Now, the first fragrance I did from this brand was actually gifted to me as well from Mr. Michael LaRusso. Now, gifted as in far as he added one extra for me on a, a swap, but Hamidi actually reached out to me. They said, we like the way you did the review on the last one, and that was from the uh, Imperial lineup that uh, dicted. This one is from the Honor lineup, the Prestige Honor from Hamidi. This is pretty much your Aqua de Joe, well, not Aqua de Joe, but Armani um, code. Armani code, okay, from Giorgio Armani. So fresh, spicy, kind of a little bit dark. But this one was pretty much my favorite as far as all of the Hamidi, okay? So again, I never had Armani code, so I can't say if it's close, but it, this one was good for me, okay? So Hamidi, prestige, honor, that is that one, okay? Very good fragrance, too. Next up, okay, when we're talking about clones or inspirations or whatnot, you have pretty much, you have Dua, you have Alexandria, you have Dossier, you have, um, yeah, just so many of them. Every, everyone has pretty much a brand out there, but one of my favorites is out there in Atlanta. One of my favorite uh, people in general as far as fragrances and Mr. Drew Foster. And this one is from Kingsgate Fragrances, and this one is Shimmer. This is like an inspiration of Mancera's cola, if you will. And this thing really does literally smell like that soda, that soda syrup that you get from the soda. Vanilla, a cherry cola, if you will. But this stuff is good. And as you can see, I've actually used quite a bit. Okay, This thing was, uh, you know, all the way up here. And I've only had this for probably about two months. So you guys can see I do actually like this fragrance a lot. That is this Shimmer, again, from Kingsgate out there in Atlanta. Go get these things. You guys are cheap. Like $30 for 30 ml. So a dollar per ml. You can't beat that. Last but not least, this one, this one was gifted to me by the brand itself. And again, I bought so many from the brand itself. But this one, and pretty much any fragrance that does the DNA just like this, is probably going to be one of my favorites because I believe the Tiger Scent DNA is probably the best scent DNA in all of fragrance. Citrusy, captivating, ginger spicy, just a very, very good fragrance. And honestly, most people that have this fragrance... Love it just as much as I do. And this is that VCL. This is a Bulgari Tiger clone. And man, you can't ask for anything else with this fragrance. Citrusy, gingery, uplifting, intoxicating, if you will. Just a very, very good scent DNA tiger. Okay, I believe it's the best scent DNA in my opinion. You can take this tiger scent DNA. You add a little something to it. And it's just as good, okay? But I do like this one. I do have a couple of them that smell like tiger, but just a little added, a little something, something. But this one right here is my favorite. And honestly, this might be my favorite as far as 2023 goes in general. But as far as a fragrance that was gifted to me, this is my favorite. So with that being said, those are the 10 fragrances that were gifted to me over the year. Now, I had a few more extra, but these were the favorites of all of them. And uh, with that being said, again, it is Christmas time, the time for giving and receiving. Hopefully, uh, you receive more than you have to give. But uh, if you do have to gift, 
Uh, I mean, hopefully you gift them to uh, the right people, okay? Gift those fragrances to people that uh, that you enjoy a lot, okay? So I enjoy these fragrances. I enjoy doing these videos for you guys. So with that being said, VCL is the favorite one of 2023 gift edition. With that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.